And welcome back to the channel guys, Gvids here. Today we're going to be going over the patch notes for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1.28. Now this was actually released a few days ago, but they didn't release all of the patch notes to it and we weren't actually able to install the download. Um, we were able to download it, but not install it. So today we can actually install it and they gave us the full notes to them. So we're going to go over those today. There's actually quite a lot added and a few guns been nerfed. So make sure you guys stick around for everything, but we're going to get right into it and we're going to start off with Modern Warfare. Uh, they've added in some Ground War, Gunfight, Deathmatch Domination, plus Drop Zone. Uh, the Gun Game, TDM. Um, HQ Firefight, which is, I believe, new. Teams can add to their score by capturing the headquarters and also by getting kills. Um, for the war zone, they're removing blood money quads and adding plunger quads. Um, pretty much the same thing, but you don't really get the extra money bonus for uh, taking down the leaders. And then we're getting into some general fixes here. Uh, they fixed the issue where the next locks uh, section was showing attachments out of order. They've also fixed the issue uh, where teammates could spawn inside a closed off room on broadcast. They fixed the bug where viewing the Nevermore execution in the menu could sometimes cause animal model to get stuck. Uh, they fixed the bug where grenades could fall through the floor in the foreman's office while on Malastor tank factory. Uh, they fixed lighting issues on the glide arm variant from season 6 battle pass. They fixed an issue where players could experience a crash after reaching wave 45 or higher in survival mode, which is a huge piss off when you've worked your way up there and you get way knocked down or get kicked out. Absolutely ridiculous. Improved stability on the PC. And now we're getting into the weapons here, guys. They increase the minimum damage at range on the KR-98 in Warzone and they reduced the minimum damage at range on the SPR-208 in Warzone as well. And moving along into the Warzone fixes, uh, fixes to help improve the level of volume with War Track Slider, uh, fixes to help prevent players from dying while completing the subway puzzle, uh, they fixed a bug where players might not be able to access Bunker 11, They've also fixed the bug where gas masks when players attempt to complete the station puzzle. Also fixed a bug where using a self revive near the doors on the subway train, they will clip you out of the train but still be transferred into the next station. And they fixed a collision bug near the entrance of the underground road on the west side of the airport. Now, if a player dies uh, post doors closing of the subway car, they will be pulled out of the gulag by the fast travel system and then pulled back into the gulag for a match once that has returned. Uh, that has been fixed. And moving along here to the last few things, they fixed an issue where players view could be forcibly moved when exiting a vehicle or parachuting and they fixed a bug where players could experience a crash after engaging with a bounty contract. Now that is all for the patch notes for this week's update guys. I hope you found them informative in any way. Uh, there is quite a list of stuff today. A few guns being nerfed, a few being added up and a few little game modes being switched around. But uh, that is the news for today, guys. So I hope you found it informative or helpful in any way. If you guys did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.